Hey, this is Joe Doman again from Joe Knows Real Estate, uh, powered by Remax Gateway. I'm here again today with mortgage expert Josh Burroughs from Potomac Mortgage Group. Thanks for coming, Josh. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're here today at the Brambledon Welcome Center here in Ashburn, Virginia. Today, uh, the hot topic we're going to talk about is a little bit about FHA loans. And uh, FHA loans are really hot right now. They have been for some time. And I think some people aren't really um, as aware of them. Um, and, do, do, and I think most people have, are under the misconception that you have to be a first-time buyer. Do you have to be a first-time buyer? Absolutely not. And you are right. FHA has been a great product for the mortgage industry over the last year and a half. Uh, and anybody can do an FHA product. Not limited to first-time home buyers at all. In fact, about 35 to 40 percent of the mortgages that we did last year were FHA loans. Uh, FHA in our area, in the D.C. metropolitan area, will actually allow you to go up to a loan amount of $729,750. So we're seeing. Which is great that. for our area. Well, yeah, our price point's a little bit higher. <laughs> right. So you get a townhouse at 720. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> exactly. Right. But no, it is a great product, and a lot of people have utilized it for really down payment options of less than 10% down. Right. It's a great product. Okay. Are there any uh, advantages of an FHA loan compared to uh, a conventional loan or They're disadvantages? Actually, yeah, absolutely. The advantages, I would say, would be FHA has a lot more flexible underwriting criteria. They allow higher debt-to-income ratios. They allow lower credit scores. If you have a lower credit score, they don't hit you as much on the rate as a conventional loan would. Not only that, they've got some lower down payment options. Um, you can do as little as 3.5% down with FHA. Sure. They've got really low interest rates. So actually, at the higher price points, we see that FHA loans are a little bit cheaper than conventional loans from an interest rate perspective. Okay. Now, some of the disadvantages of FHA, they do have an upfront and a monthly mortgage insurance premium. Okay. that conventional doesn't have. But you also can put down less than 20%. Okay. So other than that, are there any other fees? Like, the, you know, there's mortgage insurance fee. Sure. And I know that the April 18th deadline is coming up. Can you go in a little bit about that sure. for people? So FHA has a monthly mortgage insurance premium and an upfront mortgage insurance premium. The upfront mortgage insurance premium is 1% of the base loan amount, and it's rolled into the total loan amount. So you they don't like, have to come out of you don't pocket. Have to come, you don't have to pay right. it out of pocket. Okay. You can finance it in the loan. The monthly mortgage insurance um, is, is actually about, on a $200,000 loan, that correlates to about $150 a month. Now, come April 18th, if you don't have an, what's called an FHA case number pulled on a property, by April 18th, those fees are going to be rising slightly. So you're looking at probably about a $45 increase, depending on where your loan amount is. Which is pretty substantial. Loan. Yeah, absolutely. Bad. All right. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate you being here. Thanks, thanks Josh. Appreciate it.